There we go. Hey, Corbin. I had to get the YouTube one working too. How are we doing? <laughs> Give it a couple more minutes, see if anyone else jumps on. I got on a minute early, so we'll see. How are you, Corbin? Rachel, Riley, hello, hello, hello. Good. Erica, Erica, I hope you didn't go outside today because it's snowing. Crazy, crazy that it's snowing. How are we doing today, guys? Riley, Riley, I couldn't believe your comment on Gabby's daily minute. I thought I should just make mine an hour just to rub it in your nose. You went outside to get the milk. It's so, so snowy. Hello, Aiden. How are you, Aiden? How you doing? You're doing yes? Okay. Meh. You're doing meh. Yeah. You're in my prayers, Aiden. You're in my prayers, dude. That's hard. Um, well, today we are going to learn about a very interesting saint. Um, saint Mary of Egypt. So basically, there was a guy who... Um, it was customary for him to spend 40 days in the wilderness at Lent, um, just like Jesus did. And um, he was hoping that he would like encounter like a uh, desert hermit or so someone else on his travels. Um, so he's singing his devotions like he normally does. And he gets a glimpse of like a strange figure in the distance. And he immediately assumes and thinks um, that it's the devil, right? So um, he, he makes the sign of the cross and he like goes to get this figure, right? He goes to get the devil. That's who he thinks he's running into. And, um, Instead, he gets, he kind of catches this girl, right? And she starts to explain her life. So, one second, but ask daddy. So, um, so she runs away from home at age 12 and um, becomes a prostitute, okay? And she says it's not because of the money. She wasn't doing it because she needed the money. She just had this, like, desire that she couldn't fill. Um, and this passion for just living in filth, right? So she lives this way for 17 years, um, making some money by beg by begging, but none of like the prostitution was paid for. Okay. Yeah. It gets crazier. So one day she sees a group of pilgrims and they're making their way to Jer Jerusalem for the exaltation, um, of the precious and life giving cross. So seeing like she sees this as like a new potential of customers. So she um, pays for her journey, her way with them through prostitution. Um, but when she tries to enter the church to see the ceremony, like this invisible force pushes her back and prevents her to go in. Um, so she, so Mary, Mary of Egypt realizes that she is not deemed worthy of the spectacle. And she just falls down crying. Um, but then she catches sight of the of an icon of the Virgin Mary, and she vows then to no longer um, be impure, right? No longer defile her body. Um, and she had difficulty, but she finally could enter the church. And she prayed at the foot of the cross, um, washed herself in the Jordan, and left for the desert. So she spent the next 47 years running away from anyone she ever encountered 
and battling the demons of temptation. Um, so this guy that, you know, meets her, hears his, her story, leaves, comes back to see her a year later, only to find her dead in the desert, but her body is completely preserved. Crazy, right? Kind of crazy. Um, and to me, it just is that reminder again, like many of our saints, that God takes imperfect people and only he can make them perfect, right? Like only he can perfect what they're going through um, and how they're feeling. So he takes something broken and he puts it back together. And when he puts it back together, it's more beautiful than it ever could have been by itself. Um, so let's pray. Hopefully that was short enough, Riley. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you for the example of Mary of Egypt. I thank you for giving her, just like all of us, a second chance. I pray that we can we can use her example to help keep us on the path that you have designed for us. But also to not lose hope if we stray. That no matter what, you're there for us and you'll bring us back. So during these next few days, I just pray that we lean on you, Lord. That if we're starting to stray, if we're starting to worry, if we are giving in to our fears, that we can just trust and lean on you. That we can build that trust and have peace during this time of quarantine. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. St. Mary of Egypt. Um, 